Right, we are gonna play Kite this Famous. It's supposed to be quite funny. Ugh, come on. It will load. Oh, straight to the point. Start. Kai wakes up. He is famous. Okay. Kai is host of the most popular talk show in recent memory. Stay up late with Kyle. Okay. Uh, stay up late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year and the public has noticed. Insiders called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. <laughs> okay. Uh, Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields. Most other talk shows are dedicated to dis dis discussing Kyle and his personal details. Right. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. The eye of the world is upon Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay up late with Kyle. We'll be featuring Rachel May. She's a kind and lovely philanthropist. You just assume though that like, there's no point having anyone else on because he's so important. You might as well just talk about himself all the time. Uh, she's dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires pe preparation. <laughs> right, okay. Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely. Start preparing. Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Wither away, exit the bed, or browse social media. Um... <laughs> Social media, I guess, just because that's what I would do. I would just check my Facebook when I wake up. Uh, Kyle started to scroll through news articles on his phone. Read article. Stay up late with Kyle, ranked number one and number two on television. Mm, read more. New East Bridge being constructed after being found to not actually exist. Authorities investigating. Do I want to get out of bed or do I want to just carry? I suppose I should just get out of bed and see what else this game has got. Kyle exited, exited ugh, his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Scavenge. Oh, a scavenge. Who are you going to... All right. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realising his immediate need for... Bugs. <laughs> Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of his bedroom carpet, hoping to catch a stray beetle. To... Why would you look for a stray beetle in your carpet? Like, isn't that the hope that you don't have any bugs in your house? It's not like being outside in the grass, is it? Soon he had a small handful of various insects dead under like what? Eat immediately or save for later. What am I gonna do? Eat them later. Oh yeah, I'll just eat my my pocket bugs later on just for a snack. I'll, I'll just eat them immediately. Get them out of the way. Threw back his head, crammed the sticky wriggling mass into his mouth. He felt refreshed. Who feels for? Oh, do you know? Honestly, Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Uh, I guess go out the bedroom. Oh wait, hold on. Is this a trick question? I'm gonna... No, it's... Yeah. No. Uh, just go. Walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment together. Check locked door, move to the kitchen, leave apartment or return to the bedroom. Ah. Hmm, if it was me I would just go back to bed, but... I guess this guy's like somewhat successful, right? So... Move to the kitchen? I would like breakfast, right? Ooh, pantry's like such a cool word. We don't say pantry in like wheels so wanted to access the pantry but found out it was locked with a small keyhole <laughs> back to the that reminds me of the back to the kitchen me <laughs> uh walk to the center of the kitchen open fridge oh wow these are some top-notch fucking um options eat crust on the fridge wall prepare breakfast eat the fridge or eat the condiments i don't know how that's actually physically possible to like eat the whole fridge but we're gonna give it a go Kyle pointed his neck directly upwards and hoisted the fridge on top of his face. Somehow, miraculously, he wrapped his mouth around the device he started to swallow. Ah, oh, mate. That is grim. In one slow, horrible movement, the fridge slid down Kyle's throat. Completely anatomically impossible, but sure. After many gurgles, pops and snaps, Kyle felt relatively sure the fridge would not come back out. Yeah, it's not the kind of thing that just, like, you know, jumps back out of your face. Kyle walked to the centre of the kitchen. So far, this has been a really boring morning, I'm not going to lie to you. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment together, leave apartment, get outside, get some fresh air, pal. Because that's what we're all dying to do at the moment. Visit downstairs neighbour, visit tech store, return to the apartment. Uh, well, well. Downstairs neighbour. We got time. Kyle approached his downstairs neighbour's neighbor, downstairs door and knocked. Ooh. 
that is, that is bothering me. I think that's wrong. Is that wrong? I don't know. Maybe that little apostrophe is wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, knock to the neighbour. Middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. She looked at Kyle expectantly. What's she expecting from me? Scream and spin. That's what she should be expecting. Slowly, Kyle started to twirl outside of Gabby's door. Arm out for arms outstretched. He tilted his neck upwards and let loose a pat long, passionate and meaningful scream. Okay. Kyle continued to spin. Gabby shut and locked her door as she did every time. Kyle screamed outside her door. Ah, so she was expecting me to scream and spin. Right, that makes sense. Eventually, Kyle ran out of breath and fell over. Okay, so Kyle is kind of clean off his bin. Like, his bin, his bin's gone, like. Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. Go to the tech store, why not? Kyle walked into the clean, white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Jim. Techno Jim sounds like a fun guy. An elaborate cut-out mascot with flashing lights. Free sample. Ooh. Ooh. I kind of just want to steal Techno Jim. Review. What's the normal thing? To obviously, not steal Techno Jim. I feel like we won't have time to fully explore Techno Jim though, because I don't know what's going to happen next. Because it says one hour, so I'm going to go with review of free sample just in case. This phone said Kyle is several years old and has exposed wires coming out of the back. Hmm. Very observant, but. Uh... Oh no! What does this mean? What does this mean now? Ah, oh, shit. I bet you have done something wrong now. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of gen genuinity. <laughs> genuinity. I think that's... I thought it was just genu... I don't know, I may be thinking of a different word, but I think it's just genuity. I may think maybe that's an extra N and an I that we don't need. I don't know. It, I don't know. I'm going to just... I don't know. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Approach Rachel... Rachel's smile quickly turned to shock as she realised Kyle had not put any- Oh, Jesus. Mm. No clothes. I didn't put any clothes on. I didn't know that was a requirement. I thought- I just assumed he would be dressed. I didn't know that like, he was like a baby. I didn't know that it was going to be like that. But, uh, okay. Kyle waved and smiled broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes, okay. Kyle started making his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised, Val. You got no pants on. As it became apparent that Kyle had no intention of leaving, Rachel made some excuses and exited the set. One by one, the crew followed suit. Kyle was left all alone. <laughs> oh, there's one ending then. Kyle prepared by being a nudist. He's famous. Okay, I'm gonna skip this bit because we already know what the deal is. He's famous, he's got a big show, he's cool, everyone likes him. And now he's interviewing someone very important called Rachel. Uh, various decision was Right, I'm gonna exit the bed because we have to be very careful with our time, apparently. Uh, open the closet. Right, it was dark and he could only really see his hanging shirts. Choose an outfit. Yeah, we're not getting caught out again with him not having any clothes on because that did not go well. Uh, jeans and swimming goggles. Slick suits. Skunk pasties, I think that is. Suit of armour. Suit of armour. You got it. Right. Kyle was unsure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armour, but he, he it felt like the right thing to do. It does feel like the right thing to do, Kyle. You're right about that. After much squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal suit round his dumpy self. I think they're like trying to say that Kyle is fat, but I don't know. It's just me. Uh, Kyle returned to the centre of the bedroom. Right, we're not gonna. Uh, I don't know. Should we scav scavenge? But not for bugs this time. We're gonna go for um, gossip. Why not? He firmly pressed his ear into the carpet, hoping to hear some stray words from the neighbours below. Okay. I heard Rachel May's going on a trip out of the country soon. Oh, girlfriend, tell me more. Right, okay. I'll tell you what, I, no. What I will tell you is that every night I don a mask that looks like a bug and fight misdoers. There was a stunned silence. That is quite shocking. Then a door opened and someone exited the neighbor's apartment. Hmm, that's quite enough of that. Yeah, you're right, Kyle. Right, okay, we're just going to do this, like, methodically. Right, what can we do at the desk? Write notes for interview, back to... Right, yeah, he needs notes for his interview, doesn't he? 
Am I? Is your are you a mother? It's probably. Am I? Is, is your mother a mother? Well, obviously. Am I a mother? No, you're you're Kyle. Are you a mother? Kyle wrote down a second. What are some diet tips? That's probably a good decent one. Do you ever smile? Ooh. That you do not ask a woman if she uh, smiles or tell her she needs to smile more. That's just a no-go. Uh, purposely ran over a puppy. Okay, I'm just going to ask her what are funny stories. Because I don't think I want to open with the whole I'm running over puppies thing yet. You just kind of want to like warm them up to that kind of uh, information. What's your guilty pleasure? Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? I feel like he's like accusing her of something there, but we don't know what that might be. What's your guilty pleasure? Yeah, we'll just play it safe this time, guys. See what the good ending is. Like a normal ending. Just something not like eating a fridge like level, you know? Ripped his page of notes out of the book and got up from the desk. Okay, back to the desk. All right, we need to go back to the room. Uh, down the hallway, we need to go to the kitchen. Wait, locked door. What locked door? Uh, I don't know if we have time for that. We literally have like nine moves left. So I'm gonna go to the kitchen. Open the fridge. I'm assuming we can get away with... We're not going to eat the whole fridge again because that was a bit weird. Prepare breakfast. Yeah. Eggs and toast. Great. Brilliant. Some sausage. Eat. Eat. Don't smash it. Jeez. He really is a child, isn't he? Right. Uh, breakfast slowly and... Ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully. Enjoying every bite. Felt refreshed. Kitchen. In the kitchen. Hallway. Leave apartment. Do we have time? We don't really have time for anything now, though, do we? Uh, we don't have time for Techno Gem either, because I wanted to like steal Techno Gem to see what was going to happen with that. Downstairs neighbour. We've already been. We've tested the samples in the tech store, and we've already screamed at Gabby. So uh, there's no point. It's just going to make me rush to the studio and consume Gabby. We'll just yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't think that even... I don't think... When it says, like, 1 or 0, I don't think that what you press even matters anymore at that point, to be honest. Alright, Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his... Yeah, so this is just, you know, he sits down. Kyle approached her. Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Oh, God, I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. Right, am I going to do the whole, you know, scaring women thing again? Like, I've already screamed at Gabby once. No, do you know what? We're going to stick to just doing it tidy this time. Answer politely, like a nice nice little gentleman. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle. Extending his hand in greeting, you're a most welcome guest. Oh, he is doing this slick this time. I like it. Okay, after other mild exchange of players and trees, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. Okay, <laughs> Oh, it's got little music. Moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Start broadcast or gossip about neighbour. Why would I gossip with her about my neighbour? It's like... I don't know. I'm going to just go with start broadcast because we're doing this one good. We're just going to just do this tidy. Uh, good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Introduce Rachel. That's seeing as that's the only option I have. Oh my god. That wasn't working for a second and I had a bit of a panic attack. Tonight I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. More. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I'm very ready, said Rachel, with a winning smile. So everything is just great at the moment. Everyone's happy. Kyle's got his clothes on. So far, so good. Uh, Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. What are some diet tips? Oh, so these are the four that I prepared earlier. So I can just pick anyone. I guess, like, she's going to have to answer all these eventually. Uh, diet tips. You keep such a thin and healthy figure. What is your best diet tip? Well, a good diet starts with a plan, answered Rachel. And don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Right, okay. Um, but, she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed kind of bad advice like I don't think you're supposed to eat technically you're not supposed to eat after like 10 p.m or something you know because it messes up your metabolism I don't know I'm not a doctor right more Kyle looked at his flabby self decided not yeah see I told you guys I thought he was fat uh looked at his flabby self decided not to comment and moved on so yeah he want, doesn't want to talk about that 
Uh, Kyle asked another question. What's your funniest story? You've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle, but what's your funniest story? Oh, well, that's a great question, Kyle. Okay, said Rachel. Uh, I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. Oh, this is well, this is going to be ripping. Obviously, this is going to just be so funny. Like, fall off your chair funny. In the soup I made, I swapped out the water with milk and tipped the whole jar of salt in the pot. Rachel. Rachel, have a word with yourself, love. Honestly, you are too much. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. What? 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 She swiped their things. Okay. So was the motive theft or was it poisoning? And then she laughs elegantly like, okay, that that's cool. That's fine. That's just, that's how that is. And Kyle decided to move on. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Kyle asked another question. Are you a mother? No, we'll go for guilty pleasure. What's your guilty pleasure? We all have one. What's your guilty pleasure? Well, we already know she likes a midnight snack. Uh, oh, well, that's an easy answer, said Rachel. Dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. Kyle was probably thinking to himself, we're not going to have her back on the show, guys. I think this is a one-off uh, special. It might sound strange, but it's tangy and sweet at the same time. I eat it far too often. Ooh. Okay. I'm starting to think she's the weird one, not Kyle. Kyle asked another question. Are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know. Are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. More. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that's crossed my mind. More. Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. Very reasonable indeed, said Kyle. He referenced his paper of questions. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, you said I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, why don't they ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Why exactly did you decide to wear a suit of armour today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's dressed like a knight or something, isn't he? Uh, before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. Ooh. Got there in the end. Turned home knowing the interview had gone well. Yeah. Yeah, good job, Kyle. Done a good job today, man. But as he lay in bed and drifted, he felt perhaps something was still missing. Prepared very well. Nice work.